Hi guys, welcome back to my new video. Have you ever practiced for a GVC flight operation test? This certificate gives you a CAA approval. So basically it is for a drone and we're practicing now because tomorrow is the actual test. So let's do that. So I'm hovering about two meters now and I'm just gonna check it controls as I'd expect. Right, all good, flight is gonna continue. So I'm gonna go up first I just need to follow a, 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 a square, trace a square in the sky. So that way, that way. So me as a ground crew, I need to do a few things. I need to make sure that the sky is clear and the land is clear so no people walk in there in the area and no airplanes are there. And I need to make sure that the drone operator is okay to fly the drone. So if he's not feeling good, I need to get the drone back down and make sure that no one's getting hurt by the drone. And yeah. Emergency, you feeling sick and you faint. Oh, I fainted, I fainted. So me as a ground crew, I need to press the home button now. and it should return to its own place where it started automatically. I'm feeling much better by the way, thank you. So drone back on. Really, I've done the flight test now. What I want to do is just I want to go and check. There's something up in the tree there. I just want to see what it is. Just being nosy really. Right, props live. Again, I'm just going to check that controls are good. Right, all good. So now I'm just going to go. I think it's actually a nest of some sort. Emergency, the battery is on fire. Oh, battery's on fire. So I'm going to get it over to here as quick as I can. I'm not doing a very good job. Right, be ready with the fire blanket, Rebecca. Right, so we land in it. Fire blanket. Right, I'm putting the fire blanket over it, or I'm checking if it's just on fire, or just not on fire yet, but if it's just smoking, I might be able to get the, get the battery out and get it away, then get the fire blanket over it. Because it's, um, because it was smoking, I felt able to take the battery out. It wasn't actually a light, but if it was actually on fire, then maybe the drone would crash. We might have to go and find it over in the, in the trees there. We might want to take the fire blanket to stop the fire spread because we're not, we're not going to be able to put the fire out. We just need to stop it spreading because the LiPo batteries, when they go, they really go. I mean, they, there's a massive kind of explosion and they're just, you know, they're full on. So the battery's there. It's covered with a, with a fire blanket. Right, so now technically I'm gonna go through my, my pre-flight checklist again, because even though um, we've already done it, we've done a flight and really we need to check again to make sure that uh, everything is still in good order. So we need to check, obviously when it lands, that things are still in good order and before we fly. So regardless if it's two minutes apart, we still need to check. And the trouble is if it's just had a fire, you may find you don't wanna fly anyway, in case it's scorched. I mean, if it was scorched, then we probably wouldn't wanna fly at all. I think he's doing quite good, so I will cross my fingers that he will do the exam tomorrow very good and that he will pass. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.